3.2.13, we are going to take the derivative of y equals to x to the third power over 1 minus x squared. We see fraction, let's use the quotient rule. As usual, let's label the top as f and the bottom as g. And for quotient rule, don't forget you write down g first, so we have 1 minus x squared for g, and for f, we have x to the third power. Then we are going to just take the derivative of them individually. Derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. And for f, derivative of x to the third power is 3x squared. And now we are ready. We are ready to build up our quotient rule for the derivative. I'm going to write down dy over dx for derivative. You can also use the y prime notation, they are the same. Alright, if you start off with a fraction, you are going to end with a fraction as well. So let's get our fraction bar ready. Before we forget, let's square the denominator first. So I'll take 1 minus x squared, put in a parentheses, square that. Alright, so for the pairing on the top, you pair this one with, y prime, with f prime together. So you have parentheses 1 minus x squared times 3x squared. And for quotient rule, you are going to subtract. You pair this one with that together. So you subtract x to the third power times negative 2x. And let me use parentheses accordingly. So this is it. Once again, this is the only calculus steps. The rest is just a bunch of algebra simplifications. Alright, so we can distribute this backwards, and 3x squared times 1, we get this 3x squared. 3x squared times negative x squared, we get minus 3x to the 4th power. And here we have negative times a negative, we get positive. x to the 3rd power times 2x, we get, we get 2x to the 4th power. Alright? And finally, we see that we can combine items here and here, so we are almost done. So this is equal to, let me get the denominator first. The denominator stays the same, 1 minus x squared, and then squared, alright? And here I have 3x squared, nothing changed. But the negative 3x to the 4th power plus 2x to the 4th power is the same as minus x to the 4th power. And this is pretty much it. If you would like to match the answer in the back of the book, they factor out the x squared on the, uh, on the numerator. So you can also do that as well. So x squared, parentheses, 3, minus, originally you had x to the 4, but you factor x squared. So you also have x squared inside of these parentheses, all over 1 minus x squared, and then squared, like that. So perhaps this is the final answer that you are looking for because that's the answer in the back of the book. That's it.